Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to connect your Printify store to any existing website using FitPrint. I'm going to use a live site, Knee High Surf Co. This is where I also sell products on Amazon, like kids wetsuits. And we have a new merchandise page. We'd like to sell some of our t-shirts and other things here and get our shop to display right here. So we're going to do this live and make sure this site will be available up after the tutorial so you can go check out the products and see how the shop works. Okay, we're going to get started by creating our new FitPrint account. And we're going to make sure we're uh, logged into Printify in another tab. So I'm going to use Google to create my new FitPrint account. I'm going to select the Knee High Surf Co. at gmail.com. So once we create our new FitPrint account, we have this tutorial pop-up. We can close that and access it again at any time by clicking the question mark up there. This has links to our tutorials and a few other informational tips that you may want to check out. So it starts us off with our uh, FitPrint default store, just to show you what the store may look like. It's rendered for uh, mobile size over here in this preview. This URL here is a live uh, live view of your store. You can put it into any other browser tab, see how it would look on desktop. And once we configure the entire store, if you don't have a website you want to embed this in, this is a live, fully functioning uh, website where you can place your orders and run your entire store if you don't have it embedded into another website. So for now, <coughs> I'm going to head back over to FitPrint. You can see you can update all the different colors of the shop. These are all going to change as you change them. Uh, so we can change the uh, primary button color and the font color. As you click save, it's going to update live over here just so you can check out all your changes. So you can see now we've got this red button font color. So feel free to play around with all these different colors and you can see how it'll update live in your site as you do it. Just make sure to click that save button and you'll see all your changes take place. <clears throat> so the best way to do this is we want to make sure that this shop looks like it kind of belongs right in here. So to do that, we're going to want to take these colors and match them up. So I've got this buy now green button. Since I built the website, I have the color code saved. So you can also use hex colors when you're changing all these colors to make sure it matches your site perfectly. So I'm going to take that hex color, drop it in there. I have a white text color on the other side of that. Make it the secondary button color. I like to keep them the same, but again, feel free to play with it how you want. So again, I'm going to click save. And now we've got this <clears throat> green button color with the white font. So that should look pretty good. Um, We'll name our shop Knee High Surf Co. This is the text that's going to be sent out with a lot of your auto emails. It's going to say from Knee High Surf Co. and things like that. Uh, the site we're going to embed it into, you want to make sure you put that URL here. If you're going to just use the URL here like we did over here, then you want to leave that as is. But since I'm going to be embedding this into our site, I have it on a separate merch tab. You want to make sure you paste that in here. This is where clients are going to get redirected to after they finish a sale and things like that. So the next step is to connect to Printify. So again, make sure you have your Printify store open up on a separate tab. And it's as simple as clicking the button, selecting connect. Uh, we're going to accept the connection terms from Printify. We're going to allow and we'll be redirected back to our FitPrint store. And you're gonna see our, Fit, our Printify products pull through. Look at that. So one click and we've got all of our products pulling through. This is gonna be a direct result of whatever you have in your Printify store. If you add new products, they're immediately gonna be available for sale and show up over here. So let's get this thing dropped into our website. And to do that, and we just click this embed code button up here, copy the code, and then we go over to our HTML where the store is hosted. So this is our website. This is just 
uh, name G posting, any kind of host where you have access to the HTML. It's going to be as simple as finding where you want to put the store. See, we got that text here. And we're just going to replace it with our embed code. Click save. <coughs> now refresh our store. And just like that, we have a fully functioning store that matches whatever you have in Prunify, all available for sale. And click through the images going to load all the different colors show you can add things to the cart right away you can head back add multiple items to the cart and all this stuff's now available for sale for your customers the only problem is we now need to be able to accept payment printify doesn't offer a way to accept payment so we've built that into fitprint by using stripe so Make sure you have your Stripe account open in another tab. And I have an existing account, so if you already have an existing account, just copy this link, open it up, and it's gonna take you right where you need to go to get your account ID. And if you do not have an account, I'm gonna copy our account ID, head back over to Printify, paste it in there. So if you do not have an account ID, just leave that blank, hit connect, and it'll walk you through the process for creating your own Stripe account. So, I'll click connect to Stripe. So I'm gonna review, make sure that all looks good, submit, and I'll be dropped back into our FitPrint account. And now I've got two green circles. I'm connected to Printify, I'm connected to Stripe. Okay, so let's run through an example transaction to see how this would look on our live site. I'm gonna select a WAP WAPA t-shirt. I'm gonna add it to the cart. Click calculate shipping and fees. And I'll complete that order. This is gonna drop us right into our Stripe account. You can see an image of the product I'm ordering, shipping information, and as soon as the customer clicks pay, they're gonna be directed through checkout your Printify account is gonna handle the sale for you, print the product and ship it to whatever they have here. The customer will get notifications about shipping updates to this email sent here, and you'll receive an email that you just made a sale. Few quick things to touch on, which I'll go into more detail about in another video, is you can also decide whether to collect sales tax, pass on Stripe fees to customer, and pass on fit print fees to customer. Our service is completely free, and it stays that way because we pass our 4.5% transaction fee onto the end customer. Now, if you go in and you price your products correctly in Printify and you wanna be responsible for that cost, you can disable this and disable the Stripe fees since Stripe also takes a 2.9% per transaction fee. We'll click save. So now, in my store, when I'm adding to the cart, I'm not gonna see those fees passed along, and the customer's just gonna get charged your subtotal, plus the shipping fees, along with any sales tax. Again, I'm gonna go over some of the more advanced settings in a separate video. One other cool thing to note is we can change the fonts and you never have to mess with that embed code again. As you make your updates here, changing the font, and we click save. All you need to do is refresh your page and you're gonna see that new updated font pull through and your store is gonna be completely up to date at all times. Again, it renders beautifully on desktop or mobile. And this has got to be one of the easiest ways to drop a website, to drop a Printify store into an existing website. Again, your store is always up to date with whatever you have in Printify. If you need to make updates to the prices, titles, products, all you need to do is go into your Printify account, change the title, click save, and then refresh your store.
I'll leave all the relevant links in the description notes below. Go check out the store, which is going to be live at kneehighsurfco.com. Order yourself a product if you want to see how the whole flow works. And thank you for following along.